So today we have downhill mountain bike connoisseur Greg Minar. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Um, yeah, we've got some questions for you. The Instagram fans are blowing up. And uh, cool. yeah, thanks for coming. I think I was here and I'm about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's sit then. Let's go. Okay, so we've got Born Lomia. He's uh, come in with one thing you'd uninvent. One thing I'd uninvent? 26 inch down on bikes. That's interesting. He won a lot of races on 26 inch bikes. Yeah, can you imagine how many more would have won if they weren't there? Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gregor, what do you do with your hair that they are always so perfect? <laughs> Wait, who said that? And uh, Lewis Knobble Spies has said that. All oh, right. Um, they're perfect. I don't, I don't actually know <laughs> how they're perfect. I honestly, I shower every morning and uh, I don't know. Where would you like to ride a World Cup before you end your career in 25 years time? <laughs> I've always thought Whistler would be a good place. Um, yeah, that'd be sick. I think it's, it's a place I haven't been to because of the World Cup racing uh, for a long time. So I think that'll be cool. Yeah. If you could pick anyone to be on a team with you, who would you pick and why? That's from life, the life of Ryan. If I could pick anyone, it would probably be someone that shouldn't be on the team because I think we'd just end up putting each other into a, a tricky spiral downwards. <laughs> so I think we've got a great combination of a team right now. Um, I think it works just perfect. Janko Gerlach <laughs> has uh, asked, why reach extender headset and so many stem spaces? Why not high rise bar? The, the problem with the high rise bar is, is it's really hard to get in the right position. So it's easier to have a low rise bar and, and stack it up from the stem. So. Yeah. Nor Max, what creme do you use to stay that young and fresh? <laughs> I absolutely don't use any product. Or creme. Just a, a bar of soap or whatever shower gel, whatever's in the shower. <laughs> uh, I just don't use it. <clears throat> Cravel3 has asked, what drives you to continue racing at this level? I feel like I've never quite mastered the sport. Mm. And I haven't had like a run where I've dominated. So I find it super challenging. And that's that with the highly competitive side of me just keeps me back. Yeah. Yes. So maybe if you won every World Cup in a year, you might decide to not oh, go yeah. ahead. I mean, that, that, that would be an easy way to to uh, feel out. like you're on top. Yeah. But it's never happened, so. Yeah. DH Gispy has asked, why the tissues in the nose before the race? So we put Olbus oil on the tissue. That opens up your sinuses and, and helps you to breathe clearly and just feels like you're racing, so. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like a mental pew before For you For sure, race. Yeah. yeah. It's race time. It's race time. Do you use volume spaces in your front shock? Yeah. From Strawski. Yeah, we use um, quite a few. What, I don't know, I think six or seven, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, Run yeah I think I'm running races. four and a half. Yeah. Why so damn sexy? From Igor Vasco. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Greg? No. Um, I think because I started school at the age of six <clears throat> and finished a little earlier, that might have something to do with it. But Way really less can't. stress as a young child. I just really can't put a finger on yeah. it. What's your after bike beer of choice from Green Put? Devil's Peak beer. It has to be number one carbo load up post race. Ryo Biasbert wants to know how was your grade in school? My grade in school, well, it depended on the, the subject. If I was interested in the subject, I didn't do too, I didn't feel too bad. But generally, I. Uh, battled to focus and concentrate at school. And so I just did enough to make sure I didn't have to stay back because I thought that would be the biggest waste of time. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, it wasn't great, but it wasn't anything special. Okay, we've got one coming from All The Gear NZ. He wants to know if you would shag, marry, push off a cliff, Loic Bruni, Amory P and Loris V. 
When I shag Mary or push the cliff. Yeah. One of them's got to go. Well, I'm probably not going to shag you any of those. Probably, nor would I probably marry them, so it's going to be left to just pushing them all off. <laughs> Get rid of them all. Well, I mean, it's the only option I have, right? Maybe, yeah. Maybe a joint marriage, you'd be pretty rich then, though. <laughs> Who are the most paid one, Greg? Boxers or Y fronts? Boxers, definitely. Yeah. Do guys still wear Y fronts? I hope. Kieran Moore 05 wants Why to know. Why do you hope they don't? <laughs> Kieran Moore 05 wants to know when the moustache is coming. You know, I actually tried one year to do <clears throat> to grow a moustache for November. And I even got this thing all shaved up at the barber and I was like, mm. no one actually noticed it. So I used like a bit of eyeliner on it and then it looked really ridiculous. So I just quit. <laughs> Haven't little, tried again. A little mascara on it. Yeah. Oh, is that mascara? Maybe. Oh, okay. You yeah. tell me. Well, one of the two. And, uh, <laughs> it just, I just, it just doesn't have it. Yeah. Uh, Cameron Nan123 wants to know how you deal with fear. Mm. Well, some, 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 my biggest fear, I, I have to just go with it. Like, I absolutely hate flying, but there's no other way to get from Europe to America to race. Mm -hmm. So you just have to sit on the plane and hope black like, color. Doesn't get good. down. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's my biggest fear. Fear of racing or, or something on track, I see more as a challenge. And, and, and that's challenging to me rather than something fearful. So that's easier to deal with. Yeah, I remember last time we raced here in Monson and you pioneered quite a cool gap down the bottom. Oh, yeah. That was uh, one of those times you might have had to deal with the fear. Yeah, but it's not really fear when you when you feel like you can do something or you see an opportunity to, to gap something. You, it's not really fear because deep down you know you can do it or else you wouldn't give it a go. Yeah, you've, you've got to visualise it to be able to yeah. try it. Let's see. Cohen's kind of crazy, wants to know uh, what... What the, what's the best advice you could give to a person looking to get into downhill racing? Probably to what, go to a local club. You guys are, must have clubs in the UK. Sometimes. Have more local races. Sometimes. Because once you're there and you, you're hanging out with some kids that ride down here, you get to know all the cool places to go and ride. Mm. And it's quite a good community. So you just got to kind of um, join the community and try and find it from a local level. Nice. Mm. Carol Cat wants to know, what will you do once you retire in the far off future? I'm not exactly sure. I, I'm pretty sure I'll still be in the bike industry in some capacity. Um, I don't exactly know when. You've already got a bike shop now, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, you know, I, I'm definitely racing next season. You know, at um, World Champs on Fort William. Mm -hmm. It's been a good place for me, so who knows, that might be the last, but if I'm still feeling young again, I might trickle on, but who knows, that's yeah, that's the near future. Trickle on? That doesn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> charge on. Charge on, we'll yeah. charge on. Yeah. Nush Lee wants to know how you bat the ladies <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a big bat or a small one or? <laughs> <laughs> I've got great teammates that do the batting for yeah, me. Yeah, true. Yeah. Commission. Yeah. Jackson takes most of them. OG Tool Pool. He wants to know, can you help teach another lanky tool guy to jump his mountain bike? Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Roll through. Yeah. Let's go. Just commit. <clears throat> okay, Hans Dampf eighty five wants to know: Do you feel it every run? <laughs> do I feel what? It, the flow, I guess. Um. Yeah, I mean, you when you're racing, you have to feel it. I mean, can you imagine getting to the start and going, "Oh, I don't quite feel like it." You know, which you you can kind of, but you kind of just flip things they have to they have you have to be ready you have to yeah feel it yeah i know what you mean you don't have even an sometimes if you're injured you turn up to the start and they they say beware of the underdog so you kind of always end up getting there yeah you, you you'll always feel it you have to 
Tom C one three six wants to know: Is the secret of having such a long career not getting married? <laughs> <laughs> hey, time will tell. Hey. Time will tell. As said, I arrive in Greece on the eighth. We grill goats there all the time. Cheers to the goat. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, fella. He grows goats. He grills goats. Oh, grills them. Mm. Ah. It's looking smoky, I think. Whew, heavy conversation. Simanko Original wants to know beer or wine. Yeah, you know, I start on a beer and end up on the wine. Yeah. Cross Bijon has asked, do you miss the rat? Yeah, for sure, Mr. Rat. I uh, catch up with him every now and then. Um, but yeah, he was a great teammate, as well as a great rider. I miss his riding. His riding mm. was yeah, I think incredible does, style. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Maffey, is Jackson annoying? I actually don't find Jackson annoying at all. No, not at all. I mean, I find it a little bit funny that somehow he gets confused between our race gear and um, and and that's kind of a mix. I mean, his stuff's everywhere. And he, whatever's near it will get picked up and used. Yeah. So, you know, last week he had my uh, chest protector on. <laughs> uh, don't know how it worked out for him, but he didn't realize it. And uh, I mean, you had his jersey on. So yeah. <laughs> it, all our stuff gets a bit muddled. Yeah, that's the way it is. But it, yeah, I didn't find Jackson annoying at all. He's a, he's a funny kid. Yeah, I'd agree. What do you think has been your best year? It was hard to say that last year wasn't a great year. You know, winning World Champs for the Soul, that was a good year. Yeah. But I felt like I, I had a terrible World Cup season. And um, I, th I feel like my years have gone like that. If I had a good, great World Cup season, my World Champs haven't been so good. So, yeah. Um, it's yeah, hard it's hard to, really to keep say. the motivation for both, I guess. One of my favorite years was maybe 2017. That was kind of a fun, good, solid race year. Nice. Thanks for tuning in to the Syndicate's Q&A.